Okay, inverted harriers are a maneuver that requires just a lot of practice. There's not really any tips and tricks at this stage in the game for these 3D maneuvers other than just practice, practice, practice. You should be comfortable flying inverted um, at this point in the game completely um, without thinking. You should be able to fly obviously with aileron control inverted, but you also should be comfortable using that rudder to assist your turns um, and, and really mixing the rudder into the turns. If you can't do a figure eight fairly tight using your rudder and your aileron or do flat rudder inverted turns, um, don't try inverted harriers. You're just not ready yet. It's uh, The rudder is absolutely critical with an inverted harrier as it is with an upright harrier, but because you're upside down, um, it feels backwards to a lot of people. So uh, it, it does take a lot of practice. So practice your inverted flying quite a bit. And then when you are ready to try your inverted harriers, you start the exact same way as a regular harrier. You're gonna come in, start decreasing power, and start increasing that up elevator, and start flying the airplane like this. Now, I find in the simulator, there's a lot more wing rock inverted than there is with upright. You can see here, I'm fighting it pretty good with that aileron to keep it, uh, to keep it flying level. Now, you have to use that rudder to turn again, just the same as a regular harrier and then you know you can go back to straight flight. Now you see the wings are rocking quite a bit in the simulator. For whatever reason, I don't quite understand why. I find that in real life, inverted harriers, the wings don't rock as much as upright. Um, I'm sure there's a technical explanation for this, um, but in at least the airplanes that I've flown that I've done inverted harriers with, I find inverted harriers to be more stable than upright harriers, which is helpful because inverted harriers are a little bit more challenging. So again, it's, it's basically just Keep that angle of attack there and use that rudder to turn however which way you want to go. So you can fly straight, then you can start your turn. Um, when you are turning again with the Harrier, you're going to have to increase power just a little bit um, and then fly back towards yourself however you want to do it, keeping that angle of attack nice and high um, and using your throttle mainly to control your altitude, not, uh, not your elevator. Um, if you get into trouble in an inverted Harrier, there's a number of things you can do. Um, I'll do them, kind of try to do them in front of us here. But if you're flying an inverted Harrier and you start having it peel off to one side, just roll to upright and add some power and get out. Now, when you're first practicing inverted Harriers, you should be um, up high. You shouldn't try them right down on the deck the first time because you leave yourself very little um, error room. If you are down low and you get into trouble, it starts. Add, add that power and get the wings level and push, push um, the airplane up and just get it away from the ground. Um, don't try to be smooth with it. Just get the airplane out of harm's way and go from there. Um, so to recap, basically, you're just going to do it like a regular Harrier. Um, you're going to come in with, with your wings, uh, you know, regular flight, start adding some power um, or decreasing power to get the airplane to slow down. And I bailed out of that one there. I'll bring it a little closer here so we can see it. So you're going to be flying. You're going to start adding up elevator, getting the power back so that it starts into your hover, then using your, your power to control the altitude and your elevator can, to control the angle, and then you're gonna have to use those rudders and ailerons to time it all together to make the airplane fly that inverted Harrier the way you like it. And uh, have fun with it, just keep practicing over and over and over again, and uh, eventually you'll get the hang of it.